The Wall Street Journal telling Donald Trump is, well, he's got a chance to change his act in a scathing editorial today. Here's a quote for you. Even with more than 80 days left, Mr. Trump's window for turning around is closing. If they can get Mr. Trump to change his act by Labor Day, the GOP will have no choice but to write off. The nominee is hopeless to former Giuliani pollster Pete Snyder on what the Republican nominee needs to do to turn things around. First of all, Pete, do you think he has to turn? Do you think he has to change? Well, I think he needs to put down his phone, Charles, right? I mean, I think, you know, like, like any 13-year-old who's misbehaving on, their, on, on Twitter, take it away have from the Have you tried guy. to get a 13-year-old to put down their phone? <laughs> I have an 18-month-old. She grabs my phone all the time. It's crazy. I'm but he's got to put the phone down. They don't put it down. I can threaten my son with anything. Anything in the world. No food. No nothing. You take that you can't, you know, it's like the old Charlton Heston thing, pride from my dead cold hands. <laughs> so, uh, aside from that, though, he still does a few off the, off the uh, cuff remarks. And I, here's what I see. I see when Donald Trump gets in one-on-one -on -one interviews with progressive mm -hmm. Main Street uh, interviewers, particularly well-known ones, it feels like his inner uh, defense me mechanisms come up and he wants to hit back. They try to lure him into these traps and he doesn't let it off the back, you know, like water off of a duck's back. Well, it's almost Bush-esque. You ever hear George W. Bush would melt in really tough interviews sometimes. It just, he just didn't but like the, like the opposite, though. He doesn't melt. He stands up and says, hey, you want to hit me? I'm going to hit you back. And he pushes it way too far. He's got to keep it between the lines. Look, I want Trump to continue to be Trump. I like what he's saying on trade. I think the American people like someone who's actually sticking up for the country for the first time in eight years. That's really good. But he can't be making unforced errors. It's like any other sport in life. Fumbles will kill you. Fumbles equal touchdowns for the other team. All right, so you're in the camp, uh, and there's all kinds of conflicting reports that come out of there. Do you really push back really hard uh, on Donald Trump? Hey, stop with the unforced errors. And where do you find that sweet middle ground where he can be himself, that got him to this position in the first place, uh, despite all of the experts, but also not necessarily having sabotages the effort for between now and November? Sure, 80% of his mistakes come from him typing on his phone. It's not so much from the speeches. He delivers gold more times than not when he's giving his speeches at rallies and what have you. So keep him out there with the people. He's the he has the best brand in America as far as 100% name ID. People actually, I think, will like him better than Hillary. So fight for America. Keep on pushing out there, but take the phone away. The, uh, he, still, he still polls very highly on the key issues that Americans care about, economy, terrorism, those kind of things. But I happen to believe it's that temperament that he pulls so badly on that overshadows everything else. To me, that's become the overarching umbrella that's holding back even things that are obviously in his wheelhouse. Well, Charles, he can set an agenda unlike anyone else. So if he wants to switch it to the economy or where America stands in the world, he has the ability and the communications ability to do that. But right now, it's all about his unforced errors and temperament. Hillary's winning because of it. Do you think, though, some media, for instance, this Wall Street Journal, it ends the article is this way. As for Mr. Trump, he needs to stop blaming everyone else and decide if he wants to behave like someone who wants to be president or turn a nomination over to Mike Pence. Isn't that a little over the top? The I, think it's, I think it's way over the top. You know, this, this guy earned the nomination fair and square. He beat the, the deepest field that I've seen in, in my lifetime. And, uh, you know, he has a right to play this thing out. I hope he stops making unforced errors. I hope he shows a muscular, strong America. And if he does that, he has a great shot of winning. All right. Peace Snyder. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Charles.